The human story is littered with bluffs, fibs, and deceit even from your favorite fast food chains. Burger King has been frankly untruthful on a ton of occasions. In fact, they've been busted so many times that we're about to explore the depths of their known fakery. In 2019, South African burger chain Steers wasn't particularly excited about a Burger King ad. In the commercial that they took issue with, BK exhibited its patties being cooked above an open flame using a South African style of grilling known as brying. Steers didn't like this, as Burger King doesn't actually cook their burgers that way, but Steers does. So Steers decided to take their issue to the Advertising Regulatory Board. The board investigated Steers' claim and discovered that Burger King broils its patties using gas burners. Ergo, the restaurant doesn't bry them. The board also said that Burger King has told them that this grilling method creates creates items that aren't at all different from bright ingredients. The regulatory body disagreed with the king, saying, "...the fact that there is some contact with the flame inside a gas broiler system does not satisfy the expectations of open flame grilling as portrayed in the advertiser's commercial." Some April Fool's jokes can be pretty funny, and on April 1, 1998, Burger King played a massive prank in the U.S. The company published a one-page spread in USA Today, introducing the left-handed Whopper. In the ad, they professed that their burger had the classics ingredients, but everything in it was turned around 180 degrees. On the 2nd of April, BK disclosed that the left-handed Whopper wasn't actually real. But by that point, the damage had already been done, and thousands of people across the country had tried to order the item. Surprisingly, people are grabbing things with both hands, suggesting it's not just Southpaws and this rampaging mob. It's also worth noting that in 2019, Burger King Fiji pulled the same prank. On Facebook, they announced, introducing a left-handed Whopper, specially designed for left-handed people. But unlike last time, they were less settled that this announcement was a stunt. In the fine print of their advertisement was written, April Fools. In 2020, New Zealand's Advertising Standards Authority determined that a Burger King ad was misleading. Burger King stated in a commercial that their plant-based Rebel Whopper was 100% Whopper, 0% beef. The problem being that the tagline might lead one to assume that these burgers are vegetarian or vegan-friendly when they're really not. The Rebel Whopper's patties are grilled on the same surface as their regular beef patties, which means beef residue is probably present. Although Burger King claimed their ad hadn't confused most people, the Advertising Standards Authority decided that the chain's commercial could be misleading. The King insisted, "...the radio advertisement states that the product is plant-based but does not claim to be vegetarian." Burger King also declared that they would respect the board's decision and terminated the ad. Artificial intelligence can do a lot of mind-blowing stuff. In 2017, a program called The Broadus beat four professional poker players in a no-limit Texas Hold'em competition. And in April of 2018, researchers had created an IKEA chair-building robot. So when Burger King attested in a September 2018 press release that an ad campaign of theirs was written by an algorithm, the declaration didn't come out of the blue. Gender reveal, bad. Tender reveal, yum. It is a boy bird with crispy chicken tenders from Burger Thing. However, while Burger King's press release alleged that an ad campaign of theirs was made by an AI, this wasn't entirely true. Marcelo Pascoa, the King's global head of brand marketing at the time, had informed AdAge that some parts were composed by people. He said, "...artificial intelligence is not a substitute for a great creative idea coming from a real person." Sometimes a menu item is bigger on screen than it is in reality. In July of 2010, Britain's Advertising Standards Authority received complaints that Burger King had exaggerated the size of its tender crisp chicken sandwiches and decided to investigate. After purchasing a few sample sandwiches, the ASA decided that they were in fact tinier than the one featured in BK's commercial. The ASA specified that they contained fewer ingredients, weren't as tall, and appeared smaller in an average-sized man's hands than the advert demonstrated. They stated, "...we concluded that the visuals in the ad were likely to mislead viewers as to the size and composition of the product." At the same point in this ordeal, Burger King stood by their advert. They argued that the promo's tender crisp sandwich appeared as it did to show everything inside the bun. So did Burger King's assertion save their commercial? Nope. The ASA determined that they couldn't play the clip again without changes being made. Typically, buy one, get one free coupons get you two items for the price of one. Pretty simple, right? Well, Burger King somehow didn't get the memo. In May of 2017, a woman in Maryland filed a lawsuit against Burger King, claiming they'd created buy one, get one free sandwich coupons that were ripoffs. She said that she paid $3.19 for a pair of sausage sandwiches using a coupon, but just a minute later paid just $2.16 for one by itself. The woman teamed up with a private investigator and even the Miami Herald to test the coupons at other locations, and all of them managed to secure similar bad deals when using sandwich coupons at other Burger Kings. Months later, Burger King settled the case, admitting they'd released coupons that could shortchange customers through an unforeseen error in their systems. BK paid the woman $500 and covered $185,000 worth of attorney's fees for her. They even agreed to provide $5 to any person with a coupon that contained the discrepancy. In July of 2020, it was revealed that multiple Burger King restaurants in China had sold out-of-date food. Apparently, a number of the corporation's restaurants had wrongly updated the expiry date on the bread that they served. Moreover, these eateries supplied patrons with old chicken nuggets and unsafe pieces of meat. 
After news of this got out, Burger King took to the social media app Weibo to apologize for what its stores had done. In their response, the company wrote, "...it is our management that has betrayed the trust of the majority of consumers in Burger King, for which we deeply apologize." Burger King also expressed that they'd shut down the offending eateries and conduct a self-examination. The operator of the Burger King locations in question ended up paying a fine of over $100,000 and had to provide the government more than $400,000 worth of illegal income. In total, the Burger King operator turned around $539,600. Burger King isn't the king of tacos and should probably just avoid trying to make Mexican food entirely. You say burrito, we say waparito. When BK brought back tacos in 2019, Business Insider purchased some and were severely underwhelmed by their second undertaking in 10 years. Their review said that BK's tacos not only tasted unimpressive, but they also looked astoundingly different from the ones in the eatery's promo. In their review, Business Insider said, "...if you go into Burger King with the expectation that what you saw in promotional photos for the crispy taco will resemble what you'll get in real life, it's likely you'll be disappointed and confused." So, what were the noticeable differences between King's Picture Perfect Tacos and the everyday items the publication ate? Well, in an advertisement for crispy tacos, the item's shell is sturdy, packed with ingredients, and contains pieces of cheese. It also looks nothing like the photo Business Insider took of their BK Taco. In the write-up, they critiqued their purchase and remarked, "...it's maybe one-fourth as thick as its advertised counterpart. It's colorless, and there's no visible beef. The shell is also warped, and the cheese is melted." The left-handed Whopper wasn't the last time Burger King had a little fun with April Fool's Day. In 2018, the chain tweeted out a video teasing a new chocolate Whopper. The burgers were supposedly going to be made out of House Flame Grilled Chocolate Patties, raspberry syrup, white chocolate rings, candied blood oranges, milk chocolate leaves, and vanilla frosting inside of chocolate cake buns. The King's fake ad ends with a voiceover saying, "...chocolate Whopper… coming soon… maybe." These chocolate Whoppers never debuted in America, confirming that Burger King's announcement was indeed just a joke. But in 2020, Burger King Taiwan released a Hershey's Chocolate Whopper. The real burger had different ingredients from the gag meal, and it wasn't entirely sweet. The real-life version contained a beef patty that was covered in Hershey's chocolate sauce and peanut sauce. In 2019, a Burger King in Brooklyn had been claiming it sold meatless Impossible Whoppers, when in actuality, the restaurant had been giving its patrons regular Whoppers. The Impossible Whopper is now available in New York City. Yes, but no. A vegetarian had consumed two of the location's mislabeled items after getting them delivered to him, only to discover in store that what he had ordered wasn't available in his city. A manager at the location alleged that they'd informed the delivery person when they swapped Impossible Whoppers for regular Whoppers in a takeaway order. They also reported that they'd asked the driver to pass along the information. However, the patron said he and some other customers had never received a single warning. Furthermore, a receipt he'd received declared that his burger was an Impossible Whopper. When asked about the situation, a Burger King spokesperson statement contended that a technology error allowed the Brooklyn-based restaurant to list the unavailable item. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Mash videos about your favorite fast food are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.